you doing? Is that Chris? Yeah. It's kind of a well-kept secret. In the middle of nowhere, South Carolina, this really hasn't been done on a large scale really anywhere in the world. You gotta go slow. Turtles don't like fast movements. I was always interested in turtles. Always wanted to be a herpetologist. An interest and passion and obsession turned into a profession. My name is Chris Hagen. Today we are in Cross, South Carolina at the Turtle Survival Center. A lot of the turtles in here are extremely rare, functionally extinct in the wild in some cases. But we give them a protein-based diet. Kale, egg, carrots, tomatillos, a little bit of tomato. The Turtle Survival Alliance's mission is the commitment to zero turtle extinction. So that's always your first priority is to conserve them in the wild, in the field, in their habitat. And then the backup plan is captivity, where because of the pressures on them in the wild, there's no chance that they're gonna survive. These guys come from Myanmar. China and Vietnam are where a lot of the species we have here right now come from. And those areas where they come from, the climate is similar. This is the spiny hill turtle. The point of this is to make more turtles. In some cases, we only have a few turtles left. We literally are down to the last few individuals had these things at their houses and yes people get old they get Alzheimer's they die they get tired of it and then their spouse or whoever their children are left with three or four hundred turtles in the basement confiscations for the illegal pet trade or the illegal meat trade and that's one of the reasons that, that many of them are disappearing they're used for traditional medicine food pet farming one that was confiscated from a murder scene. We have about 600 individuals, and that's 25 different species. They live for many decades. They have similar lifespans to our own. We have successes here and there. The Burmese star tortoise that was functionally extinct 15 plus years ago, and now we have thousands back out in the wild again. As time goes on, there are more and more species that become critically endangered. The science of all this is still evolving all the time. The TSA is a partnership of people globally that have an interest in helping turtles and conserving turtles. That's really why we're here, because we want to dedicate our lives to something more. An attitude of respect for the things that we, we share the world with. Not just giving back to the planet, but actually making a difference. Not just turtles, but everything. We are literally doing the hard work to make it happen. If you protect habitat for tigers, you protect habitat for turtles. If you protect habitat for turtles, you protect habitat for fish. We are turtle-centric here, but we care about the ecosystem and keeping those things intact.